How's everyone doing? Hopefully everyone able, is able to join. If you, I'll tell people to text me if you have issues with connectivity. We got to train it together, it looks like. Uh, hi, Coach. Can you say something? I, I don't think my audio is working. I can hear you, Oliver. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, it's like really quiet. Quiet, you said? I can barely hear you. A little bit of space, about five cones. Four five cones. cones. Five cones or four cones. I have five right now. So, whoops, you can't see all of them. Or you can use a t shirt or a shoe. Uh, anything as a marker or fruit. I don't care. Mark off some space that you can dribble through. Today you won't need a rebounder just because I don't think everyone has one. So you won't need one for today, but I would, have, I would suggest, highly suggest you to buy one. Or buy one. All right, get started in a second here. I hope people just join on. Start off with, you're gonna need a set of cones like that. Um, if you only have a few cones, you'll need them to set up in a line like this that you see on my screen. So five cones or four cones, whatever you need, uh, whatever you have, um, and you'll just make it work adjust for what you have. If you're training with somebody else in the same space, just make the best, best, best of it as you can. Um, it's not gonna be easy with two people, or you can just take turns because we'll probably do sets of 30 seconds or a minute. Um, and you guys can alter. I'll give you time in between. So we're going to get started here. Hopefully everyone, uh, welcome. We can start in and on time. The, the agenda for the day is about 45 minutes of technical work, a little bit of warm up, probably five to 10 minutes of warm up, about 40 minutes of actual work, uh, technical work, and then uh, finish up with some fitness, uh, some strength work for about uh, 10 minutes. Not like playing. For those of that are just waiting right now, you're just going to start off with some juggling on your own. We'll wait for people to join in. Juggling on your own, alternating right and left. Jesus Christ. Get yourself moving. No volume. Uh, You need to connect your audio. That should be your microphone. Anybody else having audio uh, issues? As you're juggling, now only using your thighs. Only using your thighs. Try to keep it up using your thighs. Um, next thing. And I'm trying to, I'm going to try to help you here while everyone else is doing that. Oh, 
and back down to your feet, alternating between your feet and your thighs. So a few with your feet, three with your thighs, three with your feet, three with your thighs, going back. And For this part, I'll just have everyone. Alternate between your feet and your thighs, feet and your thighs. I can see you, but Jesus Christ. Now, we foot only. We foot dribbling only. We foot only. Matthew. Weak foot only, Matthew. I'm watching you. Yeah. Oh, you, get you. out of here, coach. Weak foot only. Weak foot only. We're still on weak foot only. I want to see it. Weak foot. The doozy's doing all right. I'm jumping around in front of you guys. And we'll go back to uh, the goals. All right, and ball back down. Warm up about five minutes. Get us up, get us up, blood going. If it hasn't already. All right, so just starting off with two feet in on the cones, as you have them like this, just two feet in, and then back pedaling. Two feet again, just like that. Do that five times. Warm it up, back pedal. And next one will be icky shuffling through. Just getting through, and you're going to go backwards through the icky shuffle. As you can do it, go forward and backwards. Same thing. Go through and then backwards. And last time. All right, you'll be facing one direction, it doesn't matter which way. You're going to be going through sideways, two feet in, up and back about five times. Almost going to come like this. Four, three, four, we'll do it six times. Five, six. Same idea now, you're still going to be facing the same direction. It's going to be up and down, up and back with you. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Like always lean with the front foot, so front foot always following. Never cross your feet. That's how slow it can look. All right. The right foot follows the left, left foot follows the right. Do that six times, up and back three times, basically. I'm just going really slow for demo. Done with that about now. Next one is the scissors. So you start with your right foot in on the outside and your left foot back if you're facing this direction. 
You face the other direction, it'll be left foot. So whatever the front foot is, and you're gonna be alternating sit like that as you go through. And you end up like that and you switch. Just like that. And if you go a little bit faster, you pump your arms and you twist your hips. Twist your hip. And rest. I'm gonna open the knee going forward. Forward, up, and over. Like that. Same thing on the way back. So you're gonna be backwards, up and over, or just in place. Same thing again. Up and like this. Open your gate. And then when you're going backwards, same thing. All right, opposite of that is over the hurdle. You can't do that one backwards. Just back foot a little bit to where you were. I'll try to demonstrate everything so that, so that people who have audio issues. One last time. All right, just kicking straight in front of you. And you can do this in place, you don't have to walk forward. Just a little bit more movement. Last one if you're doing it, last one. Same idea, now kicking across your body. Twist your hip, opposite you kick. And just back pedal. Cross your body there. A few more times with that one. And good enough. The last one is kicking back behind you, so be careful, obviously. Touch the ground. Both hands. You don't have to move in this one, or, or how I'm doing it. You're flexible, you should be able to touch the ground. With both hands, balance yourself. Make sure your back is straight as much as you possibly can. You're not leaning to one side with one arm or the other. Try to keep yourself square to the ground. Again. And good enough. Last couple here, just jogging in place. Just knee to your chest, pull it up. And then the glute stretch, either by sitting down into it or pulling it up. So everyone, jog, jog a bit in between, keep yourself moving. Grab your shin and around your foot or your ankle and just reach up, try to stand tall. And the other variation is you sit down into it might be better for you. Whichever one you want, squat down into it. And last couple here, so squat stretch, same thing. Hold for three seconds at balance. A balance between. Hold for 
to kind of check out. And last one is touch your toes with the calf stretch. Come down, alternate your feet. Put your heel to the ground, dig it in the ground, put your toe up, try to reach your toe. Your flex all the way down. Little hamstring slash calf. All right, everyone's gonna get the bowl. Actually, get a drink of water if you need it. Oh, thank God. All right, gonna do pyramid juggling next. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. We'll, we'll go for a minute and see how long, many, how high you can get. Pyramid juggling is for the new players or players who've never done this before. Is one with your right, one with your left, two with your right, two with your left, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, all the way up to ten. So what it might look like one, one, two, two, three, three, and four, four, five, five, six, six. Bad, bad demonstration there, but you get the idea. You're going all, all the way up. I have a ceiling right there. For the younger players, you can allow a bounce. The guys who can't do a, do a lot, you can allow a bounce in between and just keep going. Uh, if you're a tight space, if you get something, just keep going. Try to strike it. Then. Ten seconds left. What does it look like? I keep picking on Matthew to see what Oliver looks like. Coach, there's a tree in my way. A tree? I got yeah. a, I got a pole and a basement ceiling, so no excuses. No excuses. And time. All right, the next one here, just kind of trouble all the way up to your head and then back down. Back, you're not with your feet, thighs, head, back down your thighs, then back down your feet. So if you can do it, oops, my bad. So feet, thigh, head, and you go back down your thighs again, or you go back down your feet. So here, probably oh, can't see my head. Thigh, and I can't really do it here because I'm tight space. I can't get all the way back up. Oh. Feet side and then you up your head. It's tight space here for me and the ceiling's low. But I will try to go all the way back down to my feet. So it's tough here for me because I have a ceiling right above me. But the idea is to head the ball go up your from your thighs from your feet to your thighs all the way up to your head.
all around. Let's see who else. Luther, let's see it. There you go, not bad. Ruben, we're watching you. We're watching you, Ruben. Oh, nice try. Try to get it all above your head. I'm watching you at least. Not bad. Ooh, unlucky, Brian. Let's see it. You're in your bedroom, Brian. I see. You know. Well done, Patrick. Keep it going. Try to get up to your head. Ha. <laughs> Okay, got to keep good uh, body balance here while you're doing this. All right, so you're not all over the place. If I had a confined, you have a confined space, try to keep yourself in that zone so you're not moving all over the place. Make sure you're balanced here and take your time. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Who thinks oh, that? Shit. And Tom. All right, fall back on the ground. Uh, can everyone mute themselves? I'll mute everybody. All right, so everyone should be muted now. All right, ball will be on the ground here for the next series. All right, space them out just like this, about a foot or so apart, foot and a half or so apart. Uh, and we're just going to be slotting them through. You're going to be going up and back. So it's kind of tight here for me, but I'm using either foot, touch, touch inside, going around, around the cones. Any, any foot you want, solemn them through the cones as quick as you can. We'll go for 30 seconds on my mark. Set and go. Let's see here. Yep. Get, like, yep. I can demonstrate. I'll demonstrate. I don't have one too. So just just slalom through the cones using any foot. You can inside, outside, or you can use inside like I was doing, like this, like this, like this, going around the cones using inside your feet as fast as possible. And 30 seconds. We'll do one more round. 30 seconds is up. End time. So that was using the inside of my feet. Who didn't see that? We'll do it one more time here. If you only have four cones, that's fine. I'll probably just do four, just to make it easy. So what I was demonstrating before, can everyone see my screen? I'm showing Ryan right now. Here's my screen right now. All right. Yes, I do. Can you see my screen? Okay, it's a restart before. Restart outside after hours. Twenty twenty kilos of updates. All right, and thirty seconds go. Same idea, going around the cones. This wall's in my way. Five seconds left. And time. Same idea, now you're just gonna be using one foot only. We'll start off with your strong foot. Same idea, it touches the inside and outside. So try to get two, or outside, inside, outside. Lots of little touches to get around the cones. All right, as I just demonstrated. All right, so touch around. 
and around. Ready, go. Let's see it. I know it's tight spaces, but do the best you can. Good, Lucas, watching a few of you guys. The producer has got a good view, so I'm showing you guys a lot, demonstrating. And on the fly, after 30 seconds, you're gonna switch to your other foot. So I'm at, not yet. And switch to your other foot now. 30 more seconds, switch to your other foot. Try to go the best you can. Well done. You got 20 seconds. Five seconds left. Try to keep up your as fast as you can go. And time. And time. All right, the next one is roll touches. Let's see if you can see me. Go back to me. All right, so pretty simple here. You're going to be rolling the ball across the cone. Take a touch forward, roll, touch, roll, touch. Spin around, roll, touch. Just like that, across your body, around. A little bit faster, touch, roll, touch, roll, touch. Come around, just like that. All right. We ready, 30 seconds. And go. Let's see here, who's got it? Not bad, Ryan, not bad. Let's see, Bry guy. You guys are on the top of my list here, so I can get to click on you. Mateo, let's see it. Or Rafa, let's see it. Good. Well done. And time. And time. All right. And going back to me. A few more of these. All right, this time we're going to be doing. You're gonna be facing one way, it doesn't matter which way you're facing here. You're gonna be rolling the ball through the gate and then pushing it forward. Roll, push, and then I'll bait backwards, you're gonna pull it and then push through, pull it, push through like that. So it's gonna go around like that, here, round, there, pull, push, pull, push, whoops, and then pull it across your, like that, pull it across, pull it across. You're using one leg the entire time to go through the cone, but facing sideways like that. And just so you can see a little better. So it's roll there, roll there, roll there, push, roll there, push. A little hard on the back, way, on the back, but you can do it. Oops. And we'll start there, 30 seconds. And go. So it's kind of like a, a pull across, push, pull, push. A little bit easier going forward, but I think you can do it backwards too. Pull, push, pull, push. Coming around with your weak foot and your strong foot. Let's see who's got it. There you go, Oliver, good. So you're using one foot the entire time. So you're not switching feet. And time. So it's gonna be the opposite foot now. Same idea. Basically, one foot's pulling, push, pull, the air roll, sorry, not pull, and then you that direction, push across your body. All right, so roll, whoops, roll, air, roll. I'm always with my right foot here, roll, roll, around like that. Can be tricky. Let's see it. There you go, Oliver. That's what it looks like. Lots of little touches. 
A lot of little touches. Ten seconds left. Lots of little touches, then a pull. Going around. There you go. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. And time. Get a drink of water. We're gonna build up here a little bit. All right, these next ones are a few turns. They can be doing, you really only need two cones for this. Some of the last time, there's a race between the two cones as many times you can get. Each time you do it as a point. So what we'll start off with is just regular rolls across your body, going either direction. So you're gonna be rolling as fast as you can to this cone, stopping it, rolling it, stopping it, rolling it, stopping it, and going as fast as you possibly can between those two cones. We'll see how many of you guys can do in 30 seconds. It's really basic, but we're gonna build up. Are you guys ready? Should be about, I don't know, three or four yards apart. And go. As fast as you can between the cones. Roll, roll, roll. Use more than one roll. Let's see who's got it here. Good, Christian. Good, Matt. 15 seconds left. That's what Gleb looks like. As fast as you can, fast as you can. Stop it on the cone, go the other direction. Five seconds. And time. All right, the next one here. Okay, it's a Cruyff turn, really simple. All right, so we're gonna go down, Cruyff, backside, Cruyff. Fast as you can, go in the direction, Cruyff. Backside, other side, sorry. Left footed Cruyff, right footed Cruyff. Oops. Right footed Cruyff is tight. Do the best you can. It might go the entire distance on your Cruyff. Basically going back and forth between the Cruyff. Trying to get a touch in between. Not just hitting the ball. Trying to get a touch there and then touch here. So once, once you do the Cruyff, try to get one touch in between and you go the other direction. So if you need to go a little bit further past the cones, you can. 30 seconds. Hopefully that you guys saw that. And go. Cruyff left foot, Cruyff right foot, good. Demonstrating here is Gleb. Well done, as fast as you can. 15 seconds left, let's see it. Let's see what uh, Jeffrey looks like. Cruyffing it. And time, all right. Couple more of these turns. So this one is gonna be a pull turn. So you're gonna be dribbling with your left foot here or dribbling with your right foot, you're gonna be pulling with your left. Use it using the inside foot, whatever close foot is closest to the cone. I'm gonna pull across my body, let it run here, then right foot this side. I'm always face turning towards the cones. Okay, so here what it looks like demonstrating it slow. Try to get a touch in between if you can. So it's roll, touch, roll, touch, roll, touch. The ball does not go underneath my body, although that's a way to do it. So it's not like a stop on the ball, step over it, and then go. It's just a drag across your body, open it up, drag my left foot, open up. I always go to the front of my body like that. And then when I pull it, try to take a touch to keep it going. Okay, so it's just like that. All right. Some of you guys might be tempted to use the opposite foot. That's the next one, basically, which is using the opposite foot from the cones. We're using your foot. All right, so ready. 30 seconds. And go. Fast as you can go. Good, Oliver. Picking on a few guys here just to show the demos. Good. Let's see it, Matthew. I want to see it faster than that. Fast as you can go, boys. Fast as you can go. 10 seconds left. Fast as you can go. There's Edson. Good. And time. 
All right, same exact movement here. Let me go back to me. Same exact movement here, but now the turn is with my opposite foot, so the cone's here. I'm not using my left foot to pull. I'm using my right foot, and to able to accomplish this, because if you do it like that, it's gonna hit your foot, is to kind of jump and move out of the way as, you're pull, as you step on the ball. So as I do that, I'm stepping on the ball, but then rolling it. So in, in motion, it looks like that, right? So I move my feet out of the way. For a split second, I'm, I'm jumping out of the way to pull it across my body. Use my other foot to push it. Pull, push, pull, push. And you can see how my foot goes out of the way as I pull it out underneath my body. Move your foot, pull it across your body like that. Turn and go. Any questions here? You can unmute yourself if you have a question. Anytime you have a question, unmute yourself. If not, we're going to start. And go, 30 seconds. And 10 seconds left, 10 seconds left. Let's see what it looks like. Pull across, good, I'm looking at the Tyler, your brother's beating you. Catch him, catch him, and time, there you go. <laughs> Just giving you a hard time. All right, water break. You're gonna need to set up now. 540, yeah. So you're getting into a different series of, of uh, work here. So you're gonna have four cones-ish, all right? So four cones or two, if you only have two, you can still do it, just imagine there's a fourth cone. Um, just to give you an idea, this is a small box, so, I don't know, one, two, three, four, about five feet apart, about five, four to five feet apart, depending on your size too, that you could be a little smaller if you want it a little bit smaller, tighter. Um, if you're about my height, about five feet, and then there's a foot in front with the cone. If you don't, if you don't have enough space for four, you can just do two. It works the same way. You just, have to mad, you just have to make sure you move the ball, you know, from this cone to this cone when we start doing the moves. Give myself a little more space. All right. This next one here is a series of kind of L moves, pulls and pushes and drags and different, and different combination of moves that we want to progress on over the, over the series of, uh, of these. But they start off pretty basic. All right, this first one here. Ball's gonna start on the right hand side of, of the cones. It's a little tight for me, but I'm gonna hope you guys can see. And we're gonna be pulling with the right foot here to my to the inside. So the number one is the ball starts just outside, just past this first cone. Pull here, pull across. Oh, sorry, my bad. We're just gonna be boxing first. So pull here between your feet, between your feet, between your feet, push it forward, pull. Between your feet, between your feet, between your feet, push it forward, pull. Just like that here, and then back that. Oops, so when you get around the last cone, just demonstrating it one more time, it's just a little iniesta to pull it up, go forward, across, up, forward, across, here, make an L, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, oops, my bad, pull with the outside foot. So you're always pulling with the outside foot, so if I'm on the right-hand side, I'm pulling my left, oh, sorry, my right, here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Left, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. If I had to count the numbers, just like that. Should we feel a pretty, pretty burn here in your calves? You do it right. 30 seconds. Any questions before we start? And go. There you go. Quick feet between. The doozy's got it. They've done it before. Who else has? I'm, I'm watching to see if there's any issues. If you don't have the same amount of space, you're just going to be doing a few of them between your feet. Uh, 10 seconds left, about. I wasn't, I wasn't on me, my bad. And time. All right, this next one here is the same exact motion, but now it's just going to be doing one. Iniesta, 
in between, and I'll demonstrate here. So when you get to this knot, instead of doing the, the bells or the soccer box in between your feet, you're just gonna go once across. So once it gets, you're gonna pull here, there, pull, there. So you're only doing an Iniesta across. This is where it matters the distance. If it's too far for you, if you're not long enough to reach, you can shorten the distance between the cones. When I pull it here, there, here. So I'm traveling with the ball. One, two, pull, one, two. So if you need to make it tighter, you can. So you can push it in a little bit if you want less of a jump. So I pull it into my body, transfer to my left, and pull it across. Pull it back. There. So it's an Iniesta. Pull back. One Iniesta to this side. That's what an Iniesta is. The stuff we were doing before is kind of practice to get to there. But the idea is to be able to travel the ball. Travel the ball. And what it looks like is I'm hitting and jumping at the same time. All right. Hopefully that was a good enough demonstration. You should be able to travel the ball all the way to the other side with, that, with one touch and jumping. And then the last thing is to stop it and push it forward. And 30 seconds on me. Go. Let's see it. There it is, Glove. I'm watching you since you're very visible and easy to see. Grammy, let me see it. So you're pulling with the, outs with the right foot. There you go. Try to, you can make yours tighter. If it's too far, if you have to hop twice to get there, you're doing it, you're too far. It means you need to tighten up the, the cones so you can get across with one touch. And time. All right, just so you can see that one again, because it's, it's a skill we're gonna be doing a bit here. Uh, for me, my leg, I can, I, can, I can do this and reach my cones. So if you can't do that, Right, you gotta tighten it up. That's probably about the far as I can go. My Niesta is about three feet. So just it's one, two, three. And I'm taller than most of you. So you might make it tighter, all right? So that you can get across to this side. And the technique is to be able to transfer the ball while hopping, but you're dragging the ball on the ground. So I'm not kicking it and stopping it. It kind of goes with me as you can, it's hard to hear the ball is sliding on the ground as I push it. So it's sliding like that. I'm sliding it like that to my other foot. So it never, leave, it never stops touching my foot until the very end. I'm always touching it here, 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 all the way across. At the last second, I just do that. And as I do that, I... That's the Iniesta movement, but now I'm going forward with it, making an L, all right? If you ever wanted to, there's one of the basics here. Um, all right, this next one, let me see my notes. Number three. All right, so this next one here is just a roll across now. So you're gonna be pulling it back, rolling it here, rolling it there. This is much easier than the NES, but yeah, same idea. Roll it across, one touch, forward, backwards, forward, pull, roll, touch, roll, touch, just like that. Nice and easy, across your body, take a touch forward, pull it back, across your body, take a touch forward. And 30 seconds, go. Let's see what it looks like, you make them a little bit further now. So take a touch forward, pull, roll, touch forward. Same foot, roll, same foot you roll, touch, pull it back with, you roll. Roll it back, I'm watching you Oliver. Roll it, touch, now left foot, roll, right, left foot again. Roll across, touch forward, pull it back, roll across, yep. Your right foot's got it. You have to put your foot down when you roll back. So, and pause. So I saw one person struggling with this that I want to uh, show the proper technique because you're gonna, we're gonna do this a lot. So this, this, this movement here, this first pull, when I pull the ball, I, I put my foot down. So I don't, I don't go backwards on the same foot. I don't stay on my same leg. I pull it and, and let it hit me, basically. I, I roll the ball into me. And this next part is, as it's rolling, there, I just roll across. So I pull it, roll. So I let go of the ball. It, it runs, it runs, it runs, now I'm pulling it. 
So I pull, it runs, it runs, it runs, it runs, then I'm pulling it. That's all it is. I pull it and then push, or sorry, and then roll. Pull, let it roll, let it roll, and then across my body, sorry, pull it across. All right, so that's the motion that you're trying to do. You're not trying to stay on the same foot between the rolls and then go across. No. You roll it, let it go, roll it, let it go, touch it, then pull it, sorry, and then let it go and roll. All right, this next one here, number four, is same idea. So you're going to be rolling into your body in the S to the here. Okay, so you're only going to be going basically half the direction. The distance, you can make it go a little bit wider if you want. So you're going to be rolling it in the S to the here, shimmy step, and another in the S. So basically double in the S to here, fake it, in the S to again. So what it looks like is roll it here to the middle, little stutter steps, and then do another in the S to. So I'm pulling it back in the S to there, half step or shimmy, as many as you want, as long as you end up on the outside over here. So what it looks like in maybe full speed. Here, oops, pull it there, Iniesta, shimmy, there, there, pull. Well, I really exaggerate this middle part is that you're kind of going back and forth. And then the last time you end up actually moving the ball. So, whoops. As I pull the ball backwards, I roll it across my body, Iniesta, fake, Iniesta again. So it's double Iniesta with the fake in between. And the shimmy is just stepping side to side like that. Let's see if you guys can get that one. It's a little bit tricky. We're going to be adding a little, bit, a little more stuff this time. And ready, go. You really got to stop the ball in the middle of the two. Yep, there it is, Gleb. Good. It's just a double, a double Iniesta with a fake in between. Good. Good. That's it. That's the demo. I see a few guys doing it. Let's see. Ruben. There you go, Ruben. Pull it. Iniesta. Stutter, yep. Then Iniesta or shimmy. Stutter step. And then there you go. Like that. Perfect. Pull it back, a little fake, and then do another Iniesta. There it is, like that. You're good, you're good going to your right. There you go. Keep going, keep going, watching. And time, sorry. Went over a little bit there. And going back to me. Any questions, guys? Because this is here to fix things. If you have, aren't sure about the technique, if you have, just unmute yourself. Ah, good point there. Marcelo said when he was, uh, he's watching now, he said, see if you guys can fake when you do the pullback, which really is how we're doing. I, I haven't necessarily explained all the, con the context for this, but basically what you're doing, this is a fake shot. So I'm faking it, pulling it, rolling it, faking it, like a fake shot to my Iniesta. So if I can hear, okay, fake it. In a real game situation, the reason why a lot of times you do this movement is because you're, you're about to fake with your arms Right, you're gonna shoot the ball, you're gonna pull it away from the person, and he has to shoot the ball. So you can add that to the outside movements, it'll help you make it more game-like. That's a good point by, uh, in the chat uh, Marcella gave me. So the next one here <clears throat> is, L. Oh, this one's a little tricky. All right, so you're gonna be, same idea here, pull it, and now, at this cone, I'm going to be doing a kind of a fake start, stop, start. I'm going to try to do it slowly. So what it looks like is that, and then go the other direction. So you're still doing a roll, basically, but you're faking it and then rolling it. So boom, boom, across. Fake kick, fake the roll, my bad, and then roll it again. So it's basically the roll version of this here, roll. Come up forward, here, roll, but now I'm faking the one roll in between. So I fake kick, and what it looks like slow-mo is I'm doing this. That's all it is, okay? It's a roll that has an extra in it. All right, so 
This one's, I wrote it down, it's, it's kind of complicated, but there it is like that, and left foot. So I roll it once, pop once, and then roll it again. See if you can just do this movement first, without the L, just practice this back and forth. Oops, I got messed up sometimes. So it's roll. That's what I'm doing. I'm just doing that second part. If you can't do the, you can't do the first part's easy. But I'm, imagine the cone, instead of rolling and stepping, I'm just like that. See if I can see any technique. Just show me that part. See if you can figure that part out. I'll give you 30 seconds. It's kind of like a start stop where you step on the ball and roll them, keep it rolling like that, but it's a roll to the side. It's kind of hard to see everybody, but I will look to see. There it is. I see Ryan. Let me see. Alex, this looks good. Uh, Wagner, Patrick, Lucas, not bad. All right, that was practice. Let's, let's try it for real. I will point it on you guys. 30 seconds. And go. 30 seconds. There it is, Tyler. I'm watching everybody right now unpin myself. So everybody should be in view. Good. A few more. For spotlight, is there a spotlight video? A couple more. Hopefully, it's just recording you. And time. That was 35 seconds. Get a drink of water. If I spotlight a video, can everyone see Ryan right now? If I say spotlight and the Paduzzi. Yeah. Oh, okay. So if I spotlight it, apparently it shows whoever I have demoing. So hopefully that will be, from now on, I'll try to pick this on my different each time. So just get a drink of water. All right, number six. All right, so this next one here, I'll go back to me. All right, you guys can all see me now, right? No. No, I cannot see you. No, we can't. Yeah, I can't. Other people. Yeah, yeah. no. How about now? Now it is. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. All right. This next one here, same idea. If you can add that kick, you're gonna be pulling it back into your body. You're gonna be rolling across, rolling it back, and then rolling it like that again. So it's here. Sorry. Fake kick. Roll. Pull it. Pull it. Come back there. Roll, pull it, pull it, there. So that same movement we were doing earlier, we were rolling across your body from cone to cone, basically, is the motion. That's the sec this is the second part of the L. So I'm here, roll, pull it across my body, pull it across my body, there, in front of my body, sorry. There, there, and come forward, roll, there, there. And don't forget your kick, so kick, roll across your body, you can add a kick on either one of these. Here and here can be a motion that you kind of add a little bit of arm movement and uh, just not the technical side. So you got the technical side, it's can you add a little bit. Here. Oh, wait. Here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Try to add a little bit more dynamic uh, and so that you can add some, some realism to it. Spotlight. He thinks they got it. I can't see everybody, so it's kind of difficult. I'm gonna to go to Max. We're gonna spotlight you, Max. You ready? And go. Same foot, yep, there it is. Good, Max. Roll, roll, yep, oh, that's okay, Max. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Dante, I'm watching you, Dante. Nope, we're gonna to have to do that one over. Roll, pull it with the same foot. I don't mind that though, that's, that's not a bad one. Dante's doing it wrong right now, but I'm going to show you 
how to do it. All right, Dante, go ahead. Continue. I can't see you paused. Pause on you. And and time, sorry. Dante's went out for some reason. His is frozen. All right, so some of you guys, I think, Dante, you were doing it a little bit wrong, but I, 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 I think you dropped off. So I'm not sure where you went. Anyway, so can you guys see me? Yeah. Yeah. Let me uh, spotlight myself. All right, so that one's pretty straightforward. This next one, same idea. All right, the same idea, you're gonna be rolling the ball here across your body. And now, when you roll the ball this direction, you're just gonna be doing a, a full throw behind you. So it's here, 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 here. And then go to the other side. So roll, pull. There, Oops. across my body, I'm pulling it back, and then just a, a V move. So you're going from cone to cone, but now instead of coming back in front of your body, so one, two, three, now it's there, there, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that's just the slow version. But as I go a little bit further, faster, I really want to fake kick, roll, pull, roll, fake kick again, croy. And I go to the other side. Push, roll, touch. Here, pull across my body. Take a kick, Christ, and then go. That's the general gist of it. Anybody questions? Jump on it. You guys ready? So you roll, same as that roll across, you're coming back to the same spot, and it's that same point. Instead of just going back right across your body, you're going to be pull, Christ, and go. Let's see it here. Good. Good. Roll. Good. Well done. And time. All right. Let's see where we're at. Nine. All right, this one's a little bit tricky. All right. Spotlight me. You guys see me now? Yeah. This is a bit, I, hope I, I hope I was doing it right before because I wasn't using spotlight. But same idea now is starts with the same motion here. You're going to be rolling to a Ronaldo chop and then pulling it back. So it's here, roll, chop. Come back. All right, so roll to a chop. And then once it gets to this side, just roll it back in front of your body. Here. A little tricky. So you're rolling Ronaldo chop. If you don't know the Ronaldo chop part, just practice that. Just practice this movement to that movement. Which, how do you do that? You, do, you can do it slowly. So as I roll it and then just Ronaldo chop underneath me. But if you want to make it one movement, you got to kind of do it all at once. So it's roll, step, run all the chop. Roll, run all the chop. You got to be able to do both directions. So left footed, right footed. Just practice the ball rolling and then just chopping it. I'm trying to figure out how to teach this, but you roll it and then just run all the chop like that. If you don't know how to run all the chop, it's just a Cruyff that. You don't stand still and do it. You kind of fish your feet, put your feet. So the ball's rolling. It's like that. A jump. All right. Can you show us the whole uh, thing again? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So you, you start off with the basic L. You're going to roll or push the ball, roll it across your body there. And then one last V move or pull back across the body to go to your left. So left side to right. Oops, my bad. Ugh. Left side of the right would be pull it back, roll, chop, and then pull it back into your right foot. Right footed. Oop, uh, that happens. You need to see it again. I can show it one more time. 
before we start. Roll here, there. Be tricky. Roll, chop, and then come back. Okay. Hopefully, I demonstrated that properly. Ready. Thirty seconds on you. Practice the Ronaldo chop part, the roll Ronaldo chop chop part, and then just come back. Yep. And go. We'll spotlight one of you guys. Not bad, Max. Let's see it. Roll across, chop, come back. That's not bad. Paduzzi's. Since your video is perfectly at your feet, I'm just showing you a lot. There it is. Not bad. Roll, chop, pull it back. Good. Roll, chop. Oop, it's okay. Yes. Anybody having issues with that one? This one's, this one's not hard. That's not easy. And time. All right, I'll go back to me. Anybody had trouble with that one? If you have, try to just, you know, look it up for an auto chop. He does this a lot in his game. And he's just running one direction. If he's running this direction, he chops to the left or the right. So he's going to say he's dribbling. Come on back up. Ronald Chop is kind of going this direction, then he goes like that, and we'll chop the ball perpendicular to where he's going. It's a, a bit different than a quick turn, because a quick turn usually goes, makes you go the opposite direction you're going. Okay, and you notice a quick turn kind of, I'm standing up, I'm not, I'm not um, jumping. I kind of just do this and then go. I exit the other direction. So a turn, a quick turn, typically speaking, takes you the opposite direction you're going. So if I'm going to my right, I want to go my left, my Cruyff. But a Ronaldo chop usually, usually, is going one direction, and I want to go perpendicular to that direction that I was going with. So to my right or my left, I'm going straight. And to do that, you kind of have to chop the ball and hit it at the same time. So you're jumping and hitting the ball like that. So when you do this movement with the roll, all it is is opposite the direction you're going. Here, there. So just practice pushing the ball one direction and then chopping it back, chopping it back, like that. So you can go like, like that all day long, basically. That's just the Ronaldo chops. You gotta be able to do that to, to, to accomplish that um, dribbling move. Last, oh, all right, this next one here, a couple more, and then we're gonna do some fitness. All right, so now, drink your water, hopefully, while you're doing that, while you're listening. Top the ball, give me on, on the right-hand side, and you're pulling with your left foot. Here, touch. Stop the ball, Iniesta. Now right foot here. Touch, stop the ball, Iniesta. We did this one last time. We finished up with this last one. Last time, and this is a series off of this. So it's opposite of what we were doing before. Last time we were, last series we were using our right foot on this side. Now we're using our left foot. So left foot into my left foot. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, as on it, like that. Four, five, one. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can do the six. One, two, three, sorry. Three is to stop it. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I go a little faster. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, six, one, two, three, four, just like that. Questions, questions. Unmute yourself if you need a question. Pretty simple once you get the walking down. All right, my demos, spotlighters, go. Good. You have to unmute yourself if you have a question. Ten seconds left. 
Ten seconds left. Five, uh, five seconds left. And time. All right. Same idea. Same. Start, these, these series kind of start the same. So you're going to be going into here. Stop. You have to put yourself on spotlight. Yep. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Good call. Good. I keep going back and forth. Spotlight. All right. So it starts off the same. So opposite foot pull there. Stop it. Step over. Step over. Iniesta. Pull there. Pop. Step over. Step over. Iniesta. Here. Boom. Boom. Just like that. Step over. Step over. Iniesta. Pull, push, tear, step over, step over. You can do it each way, and then go. My bad, I messed up on that last one. There you go. Ready? Any questions? And go. Let me see. There you go. Good. New message here. Good, good uh, point. And five seconds left. And time. Take a drink of water. Marcelo brought up a good point here. I'll spotlight myself. Is that while you're doing these drills, as you get better and better and more comfortable at, with them, I know I'm showing you a lot today, but this video will be posted and you'll be able to, on YouTube, and you'll be able to go back and, sorry, you can't even see me, and, uh, and view this stuff. As you get more comfortable doing these, can you start to elevate your eyes, look up more away from the ball? You're not staring down at the ball the entire time. I've done these drills before where I'm holding up numbers in the screen and you got to call the numbers out. We will eventually progress to that so that you have to focus on getting your head off the ball while you're doing these movements because it, doesn't, it makes no point, no sense to be able to do these moves without being able to see what the defender is doing and rea how they're reacting. So you got to be able to look up. So thanks, Marcelo. So, so that you don't focus completely on the ball. Eventually, as you get better at these, your head has to come off the ball. So you're not staring down at it while you're doing the moves. All right. All right. Um... I think there was only one more. I might be ready for fitness time. Back. Do I have one more? I think that was it, actually. Let me look at my list to make sure. All right. We're going to jump out into the fitness section. We only got 15, uh, 15, 20 minutes left, so perfect time. So you can pick up your cones. I'm spotlighting myself. All right. This next one here, or the, the exercise we're going to be doing is five rounds. Okay. Five rounds of, of effort here of we're going to start off with push ups, but it's going to be a three count push up. I'm going to actually tilt it down. All right. So everyone just, just let the listen up. I'll, I'll uh, explain it as we go but I'm going to demonstrate them the movements first. All right. It's a three count push up. So basically what it does is you're doing <clears throat> one push up, your knee up, your knee down. So that's two. And then uh, actually, so it's one, two, three, four count like that. Now you, you just keep going in that motion. So you do one, two, three, like that. Sorry. And then a regular one. So one down, two down, and then a regular push up. One. So you're just alternating between a regular push up, then one with your knee, one with your knee, and then keep going, and then with nothing. Okay? You're gonna do that five times. So about 15 push ups. That's, first, that's the first part of the exercise. Then it'll be squats. I hope I explain myself properly. Be careful here. So you're gonna be doing three count squat squats. Give me a regular squat to a split squat, both feet, and then back to the regular squat. 
So a regular squat to a split like that. You'll be doing that 30 times. Okay, so each one is one. All right, so each one is one, so it's one, two, three, like that, four, five, six. All right, and then the end up, the last set, or last part of the set, sorry, and that's one that's not still the first round, would be flutter kicks, three count. So one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, all the way up to 20. All right, that'd be one round. Questions, you can unmute yourself. Wait, can you show us the uh, video? Can you show us the flutter kicks again? Joey, how many rounds are we doing? We're doing five rounds of that. Let me mute everybody so I can explain it one more time. Everyone can see me, right? All right. Yeah. Right. So, ignore the counts. We'll demonstrate one last time. Push ups. <laughs> one, two, three. All right. One, two, three. That would be two sets. We're doing five of those. One, two, three. So each, you basically count three and you'd be done for five of those. But the, in between the five, or in between those ones, you're doing a knee. So I'm doing one there, there. All right, so my knee comes up. The next one is a three squat. So it's one, left foot, right foot together. That would be, that would, that would be the second set. Now one, two, two. Three. So you're doing 10 of those. Okay, so here's one third of it, the second half, second third, three, and that would be two. Regular squat, split squat, try to touch the ground, split squat, that'd be another set. Last one. So you're doing 10 of those. All right, five of the first one, 10 of the second one. All right, and then the third one is stomach here. <clears throat> Hands go underneath my butt. My legs are straight. Higher the higher they are, the easier it is. My back is on the ground. Try to keep your head off the ground, but you can put your head down too. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. All right. The lower it is, the harder. The higher it is, the easier. So you're just scissoring your feet and counting. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. How many flutter kicks are we doing? 20. Up to 20. So one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. Uh, the guys who are on concrete, I'd find some grass or a, a yoga mat. Um, you can do it on concrete. It's not going to hurt your back. Just put your hands underneath your butt bones, so that your back bones, so they're uh, kind of like right around here. So your hands are towards the ground and not your butt. All right, so give you a little bit of leverage. So my hands are kind of like right around here as I'm doing the flutter kick. So like this. All right, I'm on the ground. You're, on, you're, you're flat on the ground like this. Lift your legs up. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. All right. You ready? <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, um, Question. Uh, so we're, Go ahead. as we're doing the, um, sets, uh, when we're done with, um, the, uh, first the push-ups, then the squats, and then the flutter kicks, yep. are we going to do, uh, repeat everything again, or? We're going to do five rounds of the, what I just mentioned. If any point in time you forget, I'll probably be the slowest out of this entire group. So, okay. you can go as fast as you want, but make sure your form is good. Make sure your form is good. Do not cheat yourself on squats. Don't do this. All right, really get down, squat. Your butt should be leaning back. All right, try to get in and sit, falling backwards, like Almas did. 
you want to sit down, not lean forward, okay, on the squats. And make sure when you're doing the, the single leg that your knee doesn't come forward past your knee or past your toe. Okay, everyone watching here, try to stand straight up. Try to keep your knee at 90 degrees. So you're here. So make sure 90 degrees. All right, so you're coming straight down like that, up, and then you switch. Like that. Does that make sense? So 10 of those, and then sit ups. We ready? Let's go. Who wants to be spotlight? Let's let everybody be spotlight. No one's spotlight right now. Cancel video spotlight. And first round, the five, five rounds. Ready, round number one. Hold on a second. Is it going? Can we start? Ready. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't say start. I'm going to need to Some people are loud. Ready. Set, go. Should be done with the push ups by right about now. I thought I was going to slow up, maybe I missed one. Squat. Lunge, lunge, squat, just go right into it. Lunge, two, three, four, five. That's five for me. Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Now flutter kicks. That took about a minute. Minute to do that. So flutter kicks. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, one, two, two, three, four, two, three, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, ten, twenty. And back up again. Round two. Go ahead. Water if you need it. You're on your own, you're on your own, guys. As fast as you can go. If you need to do push ups on your knees, push them on your knees. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Coach, do we, do we go to our next round? Yeah, keep going. If you're strong okay. and fast, you go. The guys who are still slow like me, keep at it. I am not in shape anymore. Mute yourself, Carter. Good work, guys. Good work. Okay. Is somebody done already? All five sets. What, who's that down there doing fake flutter kicks? Graham and Carter? That's my brother. Okay. Give me for real. I'm watching. Um, Coach, yep. my phone is about to run out of battery. Um, okay. I'll finish the workouts, but can I just hang up? Yep, it's fine. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome.
Are we done when we finish? Yes, you are. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you, Coach. And Coach. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Let's crush it. Coach. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome. See you. Keep your legs straight, Luther. Legs straight. Coach. You're welcome. You're welcome, guys. You Thank you so much. See you guys are for that. See you tomorrow, Coach. See you tomorrow. Keep you. working. You, guys. Guys, you're still working. Keep working. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You can sign off. You're done. Well done, boys. Well done. Oh. I think it's a military style push ups. You guys did it pretty fast. I still got a set to go. Good job, Ryan. Keep working. You're Patrick. Don Mateo. Thank you, Coach. You're welcome. Thanks, Coach. Good job, Christian. Keep working. Thank you, Coach. Goodbye. You're welcome. Good stuff. Some of you guys did it pretty fast. Is that an upper left-hand corner? Michael, put your legs down a little bit more. Straighten them out. There you go. You can pause if you have a break, if you need a break. <sighs> Christian, try not to lean so far over when you're, when you're uh, doing your squats. Your chest should, be, chest should be more up. Thank you, Gus. You're welcome. Try to stay, yeah, try to sit back more on your heels. Be smart. Yeah, more on the squat. On the second, yeah, my no squats. Your knees are coming too far forward. We're gonna have to work on that. Your ready. Figures. Leaning too far back. Or too far forward. Sorry, Christian. See ya, Patrick. I don't know, Mateo. Are you doing extra, Mateo? I, I, I'm, 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 are you doing extra? I don't think they did them actually. I know. Or, I, or maybe I'm doing the wrong number. Uh, I think you're doing it right. You're probably doing it better than most. I'd imagine you're fitter than most people. I got my, my O4s are losing out to O7s. That can't happen. No, I know. I just, I just don't know how they're doing it in that time. And that fast. That's pretty fast. Yeah. It's hard to see everybody. Good job, Christian. We'll have to work on that squat because it looks like you got issues with your hip. What should, we, what should I do if I'm done? If you're done, you, got, you can sign off. We'll, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, thank you, Coach. You're welcome. Last few. Mateo, Joey. Here you go. Good job, Mateo. All done? I think so, yeah. All right. I just don't know. You think that's how they did the rounds? I don't I don't know if they didn't write, but yeah. it was pretty fast. I was still on my I still had a set to go. A set actually I had a set and a half to go. Because it's four push ups per round. Yeah. Four lunches. I, no, I don't think they did them. Because it's what? It's 5, 10, 20, right? Yeah. No, there's no way. Really, really you're doing 15 push ups, at least 15 or 20 push ups, 30 squats, and uh, 20 flutter, or the, the 20, uh, three count flutter <laughs> you're, doing, you're doing extra push ups. It's three count push-ups, so one, 
knee up, two, knee up, three. And then one more, and then your death's death set. That's a set? Or, no, no, no. You do extra. So, like, you're doing extra push-up. Oh, the way I might have showed it wrong. It's three count push-up. So, one, knee, two. That would be my second push-up. And then three. Right? So, that was one. So, one push-up, knee up. Two, knee up. Three. Make sense? I think you were doing an extra one after it. Mateo. But we'll get back on tomorrow, okay, Mateo? I don't know if you're still on there. And I see Shaka's on. What's up, Shaka? I can hear you. What's up, buddy? I think everyone signed off. That was a pretty good session. <sighs> I recorded it, so I can, uh, I'll post it up.